Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I am currently 28 weeks post-op surgery, so almost seven months post-op. I am officially doing my first reset of my pouch, so I'm pretty excited. Um, for me, it's more of like a motivation thing. Um, I believe I did it, actually I did do this once before, and I got down to a good amount where I didn't like gain or anything like that. Um, I believe it, it might have it might have been around... Um, quarantine time it might have been around like March when I did it um and that was just me doing like a smoothie liquid diet type of thing I was still eating a certain amount of calories I was still eating one meal a day and substituting one for my smoothie so that's a little bit of what I'm gonna do um now starting today I weighed myself and I was 231.0 um, I did my weigh-in Wednesday yesterday, and I believe I was 229.9 or 229.8, so I am up about a pound and like two ounces, which is fine. You know, you fluctuate all the time. So my goal is to get down to at least five more pounds on this four-day reset, so to get to um, at least 226, 225, 226, around that range. Um, just a few things that I am going to be doing. I have to get at least 80 grams of protein in. Of course, taking all my vitamins. Minimum 80 grams, 80 ounces of water. Um, minimum seven hours of sleep because sleep is very important for your body, for your mind, for everything. Um, so seven hours of sleep minimum. Um, what else did I... I put it in my phone. Um, oh, no sweets. I have had a... Mm, if I'm going to the store and I see something, I'm going to pick it up most likely. I picked up something yesterday, so definitely no sweets besides gum. But the gum I chew is extra. And it doesn't have any sugar in it. So that's um, definitely going to be chewing gum. Um, no sweets, no takeout. I talked about this in my way in Wednesday, how I have been eating a lot of takeout. Uh, especially when I'm like going back and forth with traveling and all that stuff. Um, I do tend to pack things, but sometimes like for dinner, I'll like order something. So no ordering out, no sweets, no carbs, um, no starchy carbs, I can say, because I know bananas, apples, like certain things does have some net carbs in it, but I'm talking about like rice, potatoes, french fries, um, something that's really, really starchy because there are starchy vegetables as well. Because um, I may even do, I mean, are beans a carb? I'm not sure, but... I may do start doing beans in my salad and stuff like that. So for the most part, my pouch reset is basically just being very, very strict. It's not like how I did before when I was doing like only water, or only smoothies or only anything like that because I really have to focus a lot on protein. Um, I could do smoothies for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I'm not really being that extreme. I just want to do like no sweets, no takeouts, no carbs, like just a very strict diet. Um... And I'm only doing this for four days. I might, because um, I usually don't substitute a smoothie anymore just because that was a little bit too many calories. It matters. Like I was using it more as a meal replacement um, and for it to fill me up a little bit longer. So if I had it at eight, I probably wouldn't be eating for a lot longer than usual. Um, one thing that I usually hate doing that I talk about is um, counting calories. I hate counting calories, but for the next four days, I think I am going to count calories. Um, I already have in, what I think I'm going to do, which so it's not so tedious, is only check it two times a day. Um, my breakfast and lunch and snacks will be done and then my dinner will be done later in the day. Um, I already put down what I'm having for breakfast, I already put down my lunch. And then the snacks that I think I'm going to have. And then at the end of the day, I'll like tweak it so that I'm not doing it for every single meal. I think that will work good for me. And it's just for four days, maybe five. Don't know. But um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. Um, and that's really it. So I'm really hoping this likes get me out of a funk of like the whole quarantine thing. Get that scale moving. Um, I haven't. I mean, I feel like a lot of um, Instagram people that that were posting or YouTube people really aren't posting anymore. So I'm really, this is the time when you have to like be your own motivation to keep pushing. Um, I wanted to show you guys my lunch. It's right here in front of me, my lunch and my snacks. So first thing I have is a whole bunch of fruit, which I wish I had um, some more protein dense things like maybe cheese or eggs, but I'm working with what I have. This is from um, Sunday's grocery haul and today's Thursday. So I probably will not be going grocery shopping again until Sunday. That's just what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to stay out of the stores and all that stuff. So um, 
strawberries this is about honestly this is probably a cup of strawberries i believe that's like 70 to 90 calories a small apple which is probably seven, 70 calories a banana a big banana like this i believe is touching almost 100 calories so a whole bunch of fruit for breakfast basically a fruit salad and then i have some beef jerky this is where the protein comes into play now this beef jerky is 12 grams of protein and 70 calories i picked this up at the dollar store um yeah it doesn't oh okay so it does have carbs in it four grams it's not anything crazy but I think I'm gonna pick up some more of these only because um, I feel like if you buy like that huge bag, that's like, how much are those? Like they're expensive. Like they range from like $6 to like literally $10. But if I, I'll just literally eat the bag in one to two days. But when I get these, I only eat the serving size. So I think I'm gonna buy like five of these and it will be for five days. So, um, or I might get two. I might eat two of these a day because like I said, that would have been 24 grams of protein. That's a good way for me to get my protein in. So I'm definitely gonna be picking up some more of these and having this during my pouch reset um, just because it's a great source of protein. And then I have my regular salad. And this I just have um, some cheese, which is protein, craisins, tomatoes, um, probably like one and a half ounces of chicken, and then one slice of turkey deli meat. So this is a good source of protein as well. This is probably 20 grams of, oh, and then my lettuce. I, I do usually use um, croutons, but that's carbs, and that's probably, cheese and croutons is probably my favorite part. Um, but yeah, with the one piece of deli meat, which is probably like seven grams of protein, and then with the, with the cheese, it's probably another seven grams, so that's 14. And then with the chicken, that's probably, uh, I'm gonna say 10, 10 to 15. I don't, I didn't really count that out, but um, 15. So that's almost 30 grams of protein in this salad. So um, like I said, I need to get to 80 at least. So I probably will pick up another one of these and then um, probably do a smoothie, probably do some more chicken tonight. I'm not really sure. Um, I might be doing these videos every single day, maybe updating you guys in the beginning of the day and then at the end of the day, just let me know what you guys want to see down below. If you guys want to see like, um, everyday videos, definitely let me know and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully I get good results. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Bye guys.